Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1. Fathead, Candy, Roth. Looking at 65 mix of sun and clouds tomorrow. Less clouds. Gorgeous 65 for your kickoff of Dublin Deck on Wednesday, where we will have Jimmy Allen pit tickets for the fest to kick it off. Whiskey Roads on stage, 6 o'clock. The music, 7 o'clock. We're there. Uh, and again, I like to tell people how to dress. You know, you're on the water in May at Dublin Deck. Oh sun boy. goes down. You need a little Here we hoodie. go. Yeah, bring Here the we hoodie. go. Uh, listen. What? The, you know, you're going to be on the water in May. I'm just telling you, bring the hoodie to Dublin Deck tomorrow. It's going to be beautiful, though. Just absolutely gorgeous. So excited. Get out there and... Uh, and enjoy. Well, you have a real issue with anything I like today. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Unreal. Tried to talk about a podcast an hour ago. She said, oh, yeah, move, on, move on. I'm not going to listen to your <laughs> podcast. It's so exciting to me. And All right. Candy, I saved this, uh, this article for you from yesterday because uh, I didn't want to do it by myself. And a poll of Gen Zers found the top old school sayings young people don't understand, okay? Okay. So this is someone, like, think in their mid-20s, they think we're old, they don't understand these sayings, either they've never heard them, they're not sure why we use them. Uh, Number 10, bite the bullet. Oh, yeah. They wouldn't understand that. that, would they? Yes, to deal with something tough that you've been avoiding. I like that one. Just bite the bullet. Get it done. Come on. That's what I tell my kids already when they're like procrastinating. Bite the Come bullet. On. I know. I don't know where we got that from. Maybe when they were torturing you, they gave you a bullet or something. I really don't know. I, yeah, do, not uh, not sure. Uh, I was reading something that says it might have to do with patience biting down on, um, before anesthesia came into the mix. Patience oh. would have to bite down on this thing uh, to, oh, for the yeah. pain mm, yeah mm. ouch uh throw in the towel is the next one wow they wouldn't know what that means huh no no to give up or uh, show defeat it's an old boxing term as you know and right uh you know had rocky thrown in the towel for apollo drago might not have killed him you know maybe you should have thrown it in a little a little sooner um burn the midnight oil i love that one i do too they they don't like that one. They don't know that one either. The Gen Zers, no clue. These are all ones that oh. they don't understand. They've never heard. Burn the midnight oil. Let sleeping dogs lie. <laughs> I I use that one. I know, but, you know, where did that come from? Uh, that's a great question. I don't know, but obviously means don't interfere in a situation if, uh, you know, if interference might cause a little, little harm, right? Um... What's your beef? Why are you upset that, you know, that's, what's your beef? They don't, the mid-20 people don't understand that phrase or don't, don't hear that phrase, never heard that phrase. What's your beef, Candy? You got to be, what's your I, beef? Think, I think you have a beef with me this morning. That's what I think. It's my um, Monday and I'm a little cranky. I apologize. All right. Here's your top five. You don't cut the mustard. <laughs> I never understood that either. <laughs> You're I just not that. good enough. You're not good I enough. I never, ever, ever understood that. Here's one. Take the bull by the horns. Oh, yes. Yeah. Take control of that situation. Uh, number three, back to the salt mines. Where did that come from? It doesn't say. I've but never course, used it myself. Yeah, I mean either. Uh, but to go back to work uh, to a demanding boss or a demanding job. Uh, number two. Phrases that young mid-20 people don't understand. Rule of thumb, Candy. And where did that come from as well? I don't know. I don't know where they all came from. I'm just Are you, you yelling at me? I am sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to have to send you flowers. <laughs> you know, my family has a history of this, Candy. <laughs> don't uh, yell at me. Not, not telling my father's secretary story again from the, from the 80s. Um... And number one, maybe it's time we got rid of this one. Uh, don't beat a dead horse. Yeah. Yeah. I never liked that anyway because yeah. don't beat a horse, period, dead or alive. Right. And, uh, you know, don't uh, continue to debate something that 
is already been settled and we've moved on from yes. So uh, there's the phrases that uh, make us seem old. I figured you would appreciate that. I, uh, yeah, thank yeah. you. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, it's na- it's National Homefront Heroes Day today. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. All the heroes on the home front. Yes, right. we appreciate them every day. I don't know why there has to be a specific day. Yes, uh, those who provide support to service members uh, on the home front. National Alphabet Magnet Day. We love our alphabet magnets. We do. I yeah. love them. I could have them again right now. Yeah, refrigerator and all that stuff. Love that. Uh, it is Europe Day. You uh, you enjoy Europe, Candy? Haven't been there, but I hope to get there before my time's up. Yeah, one day. One. I think you'll do it. I think you're going to do it. Uh, National Sleepover Day today. Oh, we love sleepovers as girls. We really did. Yeah. Yeah, my Abigail. She uh, she loves being with her cousin Molly. She loves oh, those sleepovers. Love. Uh, it's National Butterscotch Brownie Day today. All right, if you want to give me one, I'll All take right. it. National Moscato Day. Do you like Moscato? No. It's a sort of wine, I believe. I think it's a little on the sweet side. I could be wrong. It's one of the oldest known varieties of grapes grown in the world. Ah, so, you know. and they do make a wine from it, yes. Yes, and it is National Lost Sock Memorial Day today. Lost Sock, and boy, we've got plenty of those. We, now, we let me ask you a question about Lost Socks. Mm-hmm. You lose one. You can't find it. Do you now take, say it's a white sock. So you take another kind of white sock that you couldn't find that one either, and you put those two together. Yeah. I, I wear mismatched uh, socks from time to time. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. The mismatch. Now, right. listen, in the winter with jeans and everything, you know, who's going to know? Uh, in the summer, if you're, you know, wearing with shorts, you know, maybe it looks a little odd, but I don't care. I'm at the point in my life. I'll wear mismatched socks. I don't care. I don't need to match. This, I don't care. Now we've hit a point. This is why I love you. Why yeah. should we care? I don't. I don't care. You th- I'll wear my socks Maybe high Maybe if up. it's your wedding, you're the husband, they're taking a lot of pictures. Okay. Maybe not that day. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, but other than that, you know, I got my socks with the Crocs, and I don't, whatever. I don't care. Go ahead. Go about your business. Hey. I'm almost 50, Candy. I'm just a grumpy curmudgeon. That's it. Whoa. I yeah. don't know what you'll be like at your 60th birthday party. That's for sure. Let me tell you something. There'll be no catering hall with a band and uh, all this stuff. No. Not no. happening, Candy. I, no. I didn't celebrate. You know, I, I'm obviously over a little over 60. My 60th. No, I didn't have a party. I'm not big on birthday parties for myself, at least. Yeah, well, you know, this year I turned 50, and I wanted to guarantee myself a good 50th birthday, so I booked a cruise during my 50th birthday, Candy. Which I'm very happy for you, but let me go back to my 50th birthday, okay? (laughs) Yes, yes. My brother had collapsed in June. Mm -hmm. He had brain damage. It was a long road. Uh, I was celebrating my birthday, which wasn't a big celebration because I was obviously distraught and I, you know, was the person in charge of his care. Um, So Casey and his ex-girlfriend at the time, well, she was his girlfriend at the time, bought me a gift card for a massage, which was the greatest gift ever. And I went and it really helped my stress level. But my birthday was in the backyard with a slice of cake and tears. So there you go, oh. my friend. Okay, <laughs> so put sorry. that. Here's a, a saying maybe these kids won't know. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. So I was uh, booking the cruise. <laughs> reg- I, yeah, we're, we're moving on from your horrible 50th birthday. <laughs> But I have to. But in line with your story, okay. I've in left line, you speechless. In the, I don't need to hear about your tears. I don't. I listen, <sighs> I feel for you. Uh, but that is so sad. I don't. Want right. To, yeah. Which is why I'm trying to tell you how right. lucky you are so, to appreciate everything. This is how my mind works. Okay, we were booking a special occasion cruise for Abigail to begin with that was that was definitely happening this summer so when it came time to book i said hmm this one's interesting 
it's during my 50th birthday. And then I swear to God, this is the reason I took this week over another week. I said, do I want to wake up on my 50th birthday and take the chance that something, you know, the kids are doing wrong or something's going on. You know, not every day for every person in their house is glorious. You don't know there could be a fight, there could be, right? So I said, how do I make sure that I guarantee or try to guarantee a perfect 50th birthday for myself? I booked the cruise during my birthday. (laughs) That's what I did. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm very happy for you. I just want yeah. you to know how lucky you are and that yes. life isn't always sweet. Yeah. I know you're absolutely right. And I, by the way, on a serious note, I, uh, and I'm, I'm not meaning this as a joke. I walk around every day. I may not say it out loud, but in my mind, I think it more than once a day. How lucky I am. I, I'm knocking on wood right now. I have my family. My uh, my parents, my sisters, my you know everyone's kids, the husbands, my family, my in laws, everyone is is healthy. Every you know, like I think about this all. That's the time. wonderful. I think about. I'm very happy too. I mean, bad things happen in your life. Okay. Yes. But you move on. You carry on. That's what anybody would want you to do. Who's no longer amongst us, and you live your best life, and that's all you can do. So yeah, you're lucky. But, you know, one day maybe something bad will happen and, you know, whatever. And I'll be there for you. You'll be um, there for me. It's just life. It's life. That's not the point. That's not. I understand that. That's not. The point is that every. I'm grateful every day, even though. I am, too. When I go to bed at night, I I thank God for all I have been given. No question. Every day. And you should do the same, too. Absolutely. We should start an inspirational podcast, Candy. There you go. And then I'd listen to that. See? The, the reason, first of all, I bring it up because I know I come off as a curmudgeon sometimes in the morning. Yes. But I want you to know, I think I think of all the time how grateful. And by the way, this whole conversation started because it's Lost Sock Day today. <laughs> That's how well, we have really start. taken it off on that one. And, and we, we have, we still have good news to get to and then we got a roll but i have to tell you uh, i took on uh sunday i took elijah to a local pond and he had socks with holes in them and so he said look dad my socks have holes in them can i just wear them down into the water and then i'll throw them out i said yeah that's fine so he wanted to give them a little funeral he dug a hole we buried the socks. He's hilarious. <laughs> he, He's he, hilarious. I, I videotaped the funeral for the socks. I have it on my camera. Oh, candy. that is so adorable. He is yeah. hilarious. I love this kid. Yeah. Uh, all right. A few things here. Two Ukrainian refugees came to the U.S. with their two-year-old daughter last year. They're grateful to be here. She's now three and was born deaf, but after they got settled in South Carolina, they took her to a hearing specialist. She got fitted for the correct implant, oh, wow. and she heard for the first time the that other day. That must have been amazing. Can you imagine? Yeah. Wow. Well, uh, that's Now that's a gift. A traffic camera in Fresno, California, caught a guy on a motorcycle stopping and helping a family of ducks cross a busy street. Oh. Uh, when I see I ducks saw cross, that video. Oh. God, it was I the love cutest that. thing, and there were quite a few babies. I had that in my backyard once. I remember that love video. Love that! Candy. It's so cute. I have a long duck story, not for today, about Brian in Florida that I'll have to tell you one day. All quite right, a I'm going to write that. Write that down for tomorrow. Quite a story. A woman. Well, on Staten- another reason why okay, I love him. Okay, okay, where we gotta go. A, wo- <laughs> a woman on Staten Island just turned 104. She says her secret is lots of spinach, just so you know. Oh, I happen to like spinach. I'm going to start eating more. She does her makeup uh, uh, when she goes out, and she has one glass of beer every day, Candy. Look at that. I wish I liked beer. Yes. Uh, And a woman in Canada had to drop out of college in 2013 to focus on sobriety, but now a decade later, she's 29, she's sober, she went back to school, and she'll be the valedictorian. Oh, what a wonderful story. Yes. Mm Mm-hmm. All right, we have overstayed our welcome. It is time to go. Tomorrow uh, I'm going to talk less. Fine. That sounds like a great plan. Uh, we are uh, thankful for Ryan and Amanda, our great producers. 
Uh, of course, Ryan, host of Mixtape Saturday Night Dance Party, 8 p.m. every Saturday. Uh, I'm here till noon, then Jay Letterman and Jim Voice Guy O'Brien. Beautiful day, 65. Mix of sun and clouds. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.